Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Solar 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me. We have a really exciting prophecy message. I was running around all day with this one. I'm still running around with it. I'm going to be in the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm going to start in the book of Malachi. I'm going to be reading verses 4, or chapter 4, 1 to 6. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. On this day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with the curse. So next I'm going to be in Luke. I'm going to be starting on verse 16, uh, chapter 4, verse 16. I'm going to read probably right to the end, uh, 26. So he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read, and he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set up at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book, and he gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? He said to them, You will surely say this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent, except to Zarephath in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And finally, I'm going to be in the book of Revelation. I'm going to be in chapter 11, verses 4 to 6. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have the power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. And they have the power to over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all the plagues as often as they desire. Glad to be here again on God's Heal of Seven. I got this word on June 14th of 2015. <clears throat> Shall discord and enmity not fall victims to the truth? <clears throat> now is the time for the path to be cleared for the one who wears the cloak of righteousness. Hearken, for in the distance a tempest brews. Time awaits the destiny of the ages. The sorrows of Solomon shall not be repeated this day, for wisdom knows the truth. Has the beginning not spoken of the end? Speak now, son of man, speak the truth, for I breathe life into these words. I shall reap 
the bounty of the harvest. Proclaim the time of sorrows is upon thee. Will wickedness not receive its just punishment? The heavens stand in readiness, for where there has been patience, there shall be judgment. Men's hearts shall grow cold, for I shall pour out my wrath on the unforgiven. Even now they mock their Creator. Let the passage of time note this day and hour. Amen. So, that's why I was running around. This is the timing of an event. So it says, let the passage of time know this day and hour. So when did you get this message? About 1.58 Eastern Time. So on June 14th, 2015, that was Sunday at 1.57, we are to note the day and the hour. Woohoo! <laughs> I was running around for hours with this. So again, we know we're the latter days. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read that in Acts 2.38. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And Brother Dan, as you were getting this message, you got the title of it. Days the Days of, of Elijah. Elijah. So the time is noted. Sunday, June 16th, 2015 at 1.57 p.m. God June bless you 14th. all. June 14th. What did I say? June 16th. June 14th, 2015. So God bless you all. Remember to like us on God's Hillary 7 Facebook channel. I put other things up there, some scriptures and uh, other prophecy messages that go along with some of these we're going to be recording today. Uh, thank you, Brother Dan. Thank you, Lord. Very excited. Shalom.